Okay, it's a bit of a different angle today, right? We're on the PC and I want to really show you guys something that I use quite a lot when it comes to visual thinking. Now, if you're like me and you're one of these people that have to see what they're visualizing down on paper, down on the iPad, on a Mac, on PC, whatever it is, you just need to storyboard it. This software here, this program, this website, whatever you describe it as, is a key element when it comes to a thought process and I'm going to be showing you it today just go over it a little bit sort of introduce you to what this is before we do dive in I just want to say that the way that I use this and what I'm using it for at the minute is how to upgrade gear and this is called Scrintle now what Scrintle is is basically your mind map field for everything you can do storyboards you can plan videos you can do collages, you can do mind maps, brain maps, or whatever you call them. And they have, you know, web links, images, and so much more. But what we're going to be doing today is how I use it in a rough element. So I've already started off here with my current setup, and I'm looking at getting new gear. Now, what I tend to do is when I get new gear is I always look at reviews, photos, I look at the pros and the cons, and I try and decide what's best for my budget and what's best for my, I guess, job role. Starting off here on the current setup, as you can see over this side, we've got a board here, which is the Sony A6400, which I'm actually using right now. And then I've got some cons and my pros. So in the cons, if you double click it, it comes up, you can type in there. So the cons is not good in low light because it's really not a good low light camera. The battery life is constantly having to switch out batteries unless you have like a dummy battery and also it being a crop sensor. So it's not full frame. And then over in the pros here, we've got that it's an E-mount. So it works with all Sony lenses pretty much. It's a cheap, reliable camera and it is very lightweight. So if you do have to take it to a shoot or somewhere, it is compact and it doesn't weigh too much. So that is what I've got for over here. Now, what I can do is technically click this and drag it over here and make a new story here or even tag a link to the product so I know what I'm looking at slash which opens up your command tab now your command tab allows you to do so many different things from headers but it lists task boards dividers so you can have it split up into four different divides if you wanted to so you can have the front of the camera the back of the camera the left of the camera all of that stuff you can add your own files even add a YouTube video in there there's loads of stuff that you can actually do in this right here by simply just doing a slash you can have so many different versatile options within this like links and stuff as well and the good thing about this as well is if you do mess up and accidentally move stuff around just control z and it goes back and then you can just click it and click delete and you're back to square one and it's super super easy and simple to use so now we're looking in the new gear options so what i'm kind of looking for is sony a7 iv you know it's 66 megapixels and it's great in low light it's full frame and stuff like that so if i wanted to go over here now in the new gear is i will right click and create board you can create cards, text, columns, everything. But I'm going to create a board, the Sony A7 IV. And then I'm going to change the color by going at the top here to change colors. And I'm going to make it yellow just so it stands out a bit. So I understand where I'm at with the whole planning situation. You can level it by using these little rulers here. And then once you've got that, you can again add in your pros and then add in your cons. You can even add in the price over here and say where you found it over this side so say if i found it over here on ebay i type in ebay say it's down here as the cons i would type in the cons and then over here i would type in the pros and then here would be the price sort of like that so now i could move them all around and then i've got a visual plan board right there in front of me so i can say okay the Sony A7, it's going to cost a bit. But these are the pros compared to what I'm using at the moment. These are the cons. So if it overheats, that's not a good sign because if I'm going to be using it for a long time, I don't want a camera that overheats. And then if I go over here again and do another board and say I'm looking at, let's say, the Sony FX3. Okay. Again, line that up, change the color to an orange. So now we know three different styles. We've got the green, which is the current setup. The, or, uh, the yellow, which is the Sony A7, and then the orange, which is the FX3. Again, do the same. Make your four boards just like this. And it's super simple. Just drag and drop, and then you can do as many as you want. If it's all too close as well, you can literally highlight them all and just move them over, which is fantastic. It's so easy. And then if you hold control and use your scroll wheel, you can scroll in and out. So you can literally have a mind map that is just... <laughs> huge it could go on for years okay so once you're scrolled in you can scroll in use the mouse to sort of go in you can go stupidly close to it as well and then on the left side here you've got your add your toggle pan and create boards things like your undo and redo so say if i want to move over 
to the right side a bit more, I can toggle my hand and just move it over. Now there is a shortcut that it shows you if you press M, press M, toggles your hand, press M again, toggles your mouse. So super, super convenient for people that use just keyboards and don't really like having to go over here clicking buttons. You can just use, like I said, the right click opens up all your create stuff. M button uses the hand. Control Z undoes stuff and Control Shift Z redoes stuff that you might have accidentally deleted. Going back to what I was explaining, the mind map here. So say I'm now looking at the Sony FX3. We've moved the title into the middle now, so it's a bit more symmetric. So I know over here is the current setup. I can even move that higher up, separate the two, if you will. So now on new gear, I've got the Sony A7 and the Sony FX3. Once I've found all of these pros, cons, things like that. What I could actually do from here is then go down underneath them both. Like say I found three or four cameras and I'm really sort of struggling on deciding which one is best for what I'm doing. I can right click here and create a column. Now what this does basically is it lets me put everything into a more unified structure so I can see it and pair them side by side. So now say we've got the Sony FX3, okay, on one side here, and then say I've got another column for Sony A7 over on this side. I can put them so close together that they're touching. Now I've got this storyboard over here that basically if I go and say, right, okay, the first one we're going to type it in as price and then say that it's coming in at 1,400 pounds. Next up, we've got battery life, okay, and then say that last one battery lasts five hours, 4K, footage so then we've got another one there and then i do the same on this side so we go over here price and say this one i found for 2000 so it's an extra 600 on top and then the battery life and we say this one one battery lasts 2.5 hours for 4k footage and then we can go again and again and again and now you've got this side by side of all of these different aspects that you would really want to look into and again, you can do this for multiple times. So say I've got the column for the FX3. Say this one was found on eBay. Great. Now I've found one on Facebook Marketplace. I can just copy and paste and then just go and put it next to it. And again, put in the price and the battery life's already there because we know the battery life lasts this long from the previous version or whatever. Same with the Sony A7. Copy and paste. And then you've got another one there that you can change the price. And it's super, super convenient for just people that visually look at a product and they really want to mind map on, okay, what's best for me? What works well? What do I need out of this product? Instead of just buying it because you've seen it, you can now really sit back and look at this whole presentation and go, right, for me, the FX3, it's the weight. It's too heavy. I have to travel a lot. It's going to cost me a bit more in baggage if I have to go on planes, where the A7, it might overheat, but if I'm only recording for 40-odd minutes and not doing full-length sort of three-hour-long conference things, it's going to probably work best for me. But then the prices, if you found a FX3 for the same price as an A7, the FX3, if you're doing more videography, that's definitely the one to go for if you're looking for more of a hybrid, the A7. And you can really help yourself with just deciding which one is the best. So that's why I'm sort of giving you this overall explanation of Scriptal because it just helps with putting it down in front of you on a mind map, understanding the actual benefits of what you're going to be using this for. There's so many things that you can do with this. Like I said, you can script videos. You can even plan holidays on this. You could do a mood board. You could do anything that really is a visual plan. So say you've got something coming up at school, a project with your friends. You could easily whip up a little brain map on here super quick, print it out, send it to a friend. You can even share these directly to someone. They can log in and see what you've done. And it's just a very quick and easy way of just communicating in a sense with your brain and your eyes and understanding what's what. You can write things down on paper, but I can guarantee you won't get the same satisfaction as looking at that as you will with this. Because this is so easy on the eyes with it being in dark mode. I believe you can do it in light mode, but for me, I like dark mode because it just it makes it subtle to read and it's easier to understand with colors. You can see the green, the yellow, the orange, and you can see even all the lines that add up to each card. The writing's clear and I mean it's just a great way for me as a visual thinker. I like to write things down all the time. This is such a unique way that I can now look at stuff. If I'm going on a vintage camera hunt, I can go right, look at eBay, look at a different couple of cameras and sort of pivot on what quality they're on what pricing they're looking for, the distance they've got to be sent so obviously they don't get damaged in transit. 
There's loads of stuff that you can really do with this and I can't stress enough. And if you want to check out Scrintle, there will be a link in my description for you. You can sign up for free. You can pay for different plans like Pro Plan, which give you different perks, which you might need, you might not need. But the free version as well is also amazing. So many features that you can utilize for anything in your life. So definitely, definitely recommend you go and check them out. Go and start up an account with a link below and just get started today with just mind mapping and just enjoying using something so easy that's another good thing it's easy there's no complications there's no ai generating stuff all the time it's just if you want it you put it down and that's how easy this thing is and anyone can use it yourself your children your nan your dog whoever can use this so if you want to go check out scrintle there will be a link in the description and i appreciate you all watching till the end to understand my journey on upgrading my kit my gear whatever it is uh, this is how i do it but other than that capture create captivate and i'll see you all in the next video